It looked like the scene of a movie for some of us this morning. Here's Barnett Peak Cam showing those red conditions this morning, or yellow and oranges, uh, showing also some marine clouds kicking in. And yet, folks, that was ash that you guys saw this morning on your cars. And good, happy Wednesday to you. I'm air quality meteorologist Jared Claiborne with another update. We'll start first with what, with a satellite view. We can see there's a lot of smoke over the state, even off into the Pacific Ocean there. And a lot of that's being produced by fires to the north of us, and some actually down to the south. But air quality is mostly moderate with some pockets of USG to the south and the north. However, it uh, looks like that could be changing later on in the forecast. But we'll talk first about why the red and orange sky. I'll tell you why. So visible light or sunlight is a combination of all the colors of the rainbow from red to violet. And when we have particles in the air, they can act as filters and can scatter certain colors out. With smoke, for example, or that's filling out, filtering out other colors, allowing red, orange, and yellow to reach the surface. So that's why we have those colors this morning. So what can we expect? What's the bottom line? All right, much of the smoke is above the ground due to our handy-dandy marine layer. But this afternoon, we're expecting some of that smoke to mix down to ground level, USG to unhealthy air for the East Bay, North Bay, and higher elevations. Thus, a spare the air in the, is in effect through Friday, September the 11th. For more resources, go to sparetheair.org. Thank you.